Hi, my name is Robert Burns, and I'm running for U.S. Congress, District 2. Hi, my name is Robert Burns. I was born in Nashua, lived in Amherst, and I went to school right here at Keene State College. Um, so why am I running for Congress? Well, a little bit about me. I've been involved in politics since an early age. My mother immigrated here legally from Canada and got involved by running for the State House. She was also involved with the governor's elections at the time and later on presidential campaigns like Jack Kemp. I got involved in certain presidential elections as well from an early age like Newt Gingrich and Mike Huckabee and most recently Donald Trump. One of the reasons I'm running is to be there to support Donald Trump and his presidency and his agenda. Um, I think that what we've seen in Congress is we've seen a lot of ridiculousness, a lot of talk about you know, how 16 Russians have affected a presidential election with a few thousand dollars on Facebook. And it's kind of kind of time to start to end this ridiculousness and to move on with with a uh, with some seriousness. Some of the cornerstones of my campaigns has always been I'm a big Second Amendment guy. Um, I believe in uh, passing legislation for national reciprocity for uh, carrying licenses across the country. I think that if you have a license to carry a gun in New Hampshire, then that gun permit should cross over to, let's say, the Massachusetts border. Every once in a while, we hear about an unlucky individual who has a gun left in their car. They cross over the border. They might have a light out in their car, what have you, and then they're, you know, they find a gun in the car and they're arrested and, and uh, subsequently spend usually tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars defending themselves and even do some jail time and are treated like criminals when they were just merely uh, exercising their constitutional rights. And obviously with certain people, the, the positions that they, they have maybe as a truck driver or delivery person takes them over the lines and that over state lines and that they have every right to defend themselves and therefore that those should be, um, those should be honored. I've always, uh, I've always been consistently pro-life. Um, I'm a conservative when it comes to uh, taxes, uh, over-regulation of the government, uh, government overreach. Uh, some of the cor other cornerstones of my campaign that I've been talking about is uh, taking the opioid uh, issue head on. This is something that we've seen. We've seen a lot of talk and we've put a lot of money towards uh, dealing with the opioid addiction issues, uh, but it hasn't worked out all that well. Um, we have continuously see uh, the amount of deaths, addictions, and overdoses going up. One of the things I'd like to do is reform uh, how treatment centers are run. I think that we need to get a little tougher on the addicts. And number two is that what we've done is we're really flooding the streets with a lot of opioids to help um, to help alleviate the opioid issues. And I think that that's something that, uh, that we're uh, just prescribing too many and now government's getting involved in, in uh, handing out these. And Medicaid expansion has definitely been part of the problem of people being able to get their hands on more, more prescription opioids, which has not been helpful. Um, I'd like to help to bring manufacturing back to America. In my personal life, I work in manufacturing uh, all across the country, North and South America. Um, and I see a lot of manufacturing leaving because of the overreaching and the government regulations, as well as sometimes the pushback against automation that we've seen. Sometimes it's from the unions and sometimes it's Americans just being American and, and not accepting new technology. But I think that definitely what comes to uh, government overreach, um, those are certain ways that we can help automation uh, to get uh, implemented more here. And I, I think even though we see low unemployment right now, it's important for a country to do its own manufacturing and to actually produce something um, because it's, it's part of uh, national security to be able to make our own stuff. And I think that that's very important. And I think that's where I have a little bit of a different background than some of the other people are running. Obviously, like I said before, I, I want to support the, uh, the uh, president's agenda. I want to build the wall. Um, you know, it's going to be building a physical wall, but it's also going to be doing a lot of uh, implementing new technology to regulate who's coming back and forth over our borders. Um, I support the decriminalization of marijuana on the national level so that states have the choice to make up their own minds on whether, we, uh, um, whether they legalize it or not within their own states. So those are a few of the, the reasons why I'm running, and I hope for your vote this September 11th uh, for Congress, District 2 here in New Hampshire. Thank you.